This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. So you got a brand new Mac for the holidays? Good for you. It's time to pick which must-have apps to install. Now, I always like to do a clean install of an OS whenever I get a new machine or a new update or anything like that. Less critical on OS X than it is with a Windows machine. Yes, it is. But, you know, it's nice to start fresh. Right. But there's always a handful of applications that I have to make sure that I get on there immediately, um, first of which is Alfred. What now, is this is that? a great little application. It is free. Uh, you can buy the 15-pound power pack, uh, which does add some more features, but it does all sorts of stuff. You can use it as a application launcher. You can use it to search the web for any kind of topic. Um, you can find files. You can do spell checks. You can use it as a calculator. You can open files and folders. You can control your iTunes from within it. There's so much different stuff. Does it replace like the little search box in the corner of OS X? It doesn't replace it, but I use it instead of that. I don't Got use it. Spotlight for anything Spot anymore, who? pretty much. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's, it's similar in a lot of ways to Quicksilver, which mm -hmm. is another application out there that a lot of people love, but Alfred has has won my heart and there's no turning back so I'm, I'm a big fan for sure now it kind of goes without saying but Dropbox is another thing that I install on every system right off the bat so if that's a Mac if that's a PC if that's a, a phone of some kind it has to be on all of my devices and it's free with two gigabytes of storage so most of you out there are probably already using it <laughs> and the same with my next recommendation uh, Chrome Chrome is my browser of choice obviously and it helps that I'm so tied into the Google ecosystem at this point so I I like having my my uh, bookmarks. Yeah, I'm handcuffed into the Google Eagle <laughs> ecosystem. I was supposed to say eagle system. That doesn't make any sense. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, I would be but, hooked into an eagle system. You know, between email and between having uh, my all my accounts sync their bookmarks and right. favorites and settings across different machines, um, I think it's really the easiest to use browser, the most uh, feature friendly mm -hmm. browser. And of course, it is free, so that's nice. There's not really much else to tell you about it. You probably <laughs> use it too if you're not using Firefox. Um, Another application, uh, this is definitely not free, but I, I recommend this to everyone uh, who will listen. Sparrow is an amazing email client. Um, it's $10, but for that $10, you get a very slick client that integrates pretty flawlessly with Gmail. Um, it can also pull in contacts from Facebook, Integrates with Dropbox as well for attachments. Um, they were recently acquired by Google and said they wouldn't be doing too much for the application anymore, but they're still providing support and making it available, which is all I can ask, I guess, at this point. Um, I also use the uh, the the uh, the Sparrow mm -hmm. app for for iOS as well, which is way better in my opinion than the standard iPhone mail client. Yeah. Big fan of that. Um, another app that I use on all of my iOS devices as well as my MacBook Air is Fantastical. Um, I take my calendaring very, very seriously, and Fantastical is my favorite app for it. It's 15 bucks and it's available on the Mac App Store. But what makes it really, really great is that you can use natural language to input content into um, into your calendar. Mm -hmm. So if you want to say, you know, lunch date with Patrick at 12:30 on Tuesday, cool. it'll take all that information, parse it down, and make it into a calendar event automatically. Where are we going? Where are we going? Just for you. That's where we. That's the only place we go. Um, yeah, I also use it for, like I said, for my iPhone, and there's there's no looking back with that one. It's it's pretty great. There you have it, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Go forth, set up your OS 10 box. We're going to be talking about Windows a little bit later on in this show. Right now, though, we got to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name? Consider registering a new .com. A .com domain name is the best. It's immediately understood, and it gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. And the best place to get a new .com domain is at Domain.com. We on the show here like Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a fun place to do business. Hey, we have an awesome coupon code with a big 20% discount off of Domain.com's already low prices. Just use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. And that's 20% off, folks. Big time savings. Please don't forget, give the TechZilla coupon code some love. When you think domain names, think domain.com. And that's a .com.